In this video, we will see how to configure the ESP32 for MicroPython with the Thunny IDE. First, download the Thunny installer from Thunny.org. Choose the version for Windows. Once the download is complete, run the installer. In order to run MicroPython scripts, the ESP32 will need to be flashed with MicroPython firmware. MicroPython firmware is available on the official website. Click Download. Scroll down. Click on ESP32. Remember to take the most recent stable version and take the file with the bin extension. The binary file download is complete. Now let's move on to installing the MicroPython on the ESP32 board with Thunny IDE. Connect your ESP32 to your computer using a micro USB cable and launch Thunny. Then navigate to Run. Select an interpreter. In this drop-down list, select MicroPython ESP32. Select the port. Here, the ESP32 is recognized by the computer as Silicon Labs Camp 210X USB to UART Bridge, COM3. Now, click on Install or Update the firmware. Select your device's port again, and browse for the MicroPython firmware that you downloaded earlier for the firmware field. Make sure that Erase Flash before installing is checked, then click Install. Thani will now erase any existing firmware and then flash the MicroPython firmware to your ESP32. This may take a few minutes. After the firmware has finished installing, you may close all of the open dialogs. Notice here the appearance of the MicroPython interpreter of your ESP32 board in Thani. If the last line of the REPL is not this symbol then your REPL is not ready for input. To resolve this issue, press the stop button at the top of the Thani window. This often means that the microcontroller is running something and needs to be stopped before receiving REPL commands. Now that all the tools are installed, we can write our first Python script on Thani IDE. This is the famous code that makes the LED of your ESP32 board blink, present on the GPIO2 pin. To run the script on your ESP32 board, all you have to do is press the green button Run. This window asks you if you want to save the file on your computer or on the microcontroller. Select MicroPython device. Name the file main.py and click OK.